First of all, Josh, welcome to New Orleans. Thank you. Uh, I guess the big question everybody wants to know right off the bat is, have you had your beignets yet? I have not had my beignets yet. I was gonna do that tonight, really. I was gonna go grab some good dinner, I don't know where, um, and then I'm gonna head Cafe Demond up. Now, I just saw your tweet from a couple hours ago. Are you saying that it's humid here? That yeah, um, I'm used to it a little bit in Maryland, like Maryland, D.C. summers are terrible, Philly, uh, summertime are terrible. Um, I got spoiled the last two years in LA, had a nice low ocean breeze, and then I came down here and it was, <laughs> looked at like the weather, I built like 86, and it said, feel like 98. I was just like, oh man. I like walked down the street and I was like starting to sweat and everything. So I didn't realize how humid it was, but I mean, it's good. You, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Um, you know, you were an instant hit you know, right after it was announced that the trade went down and you were already repping New Orleans and it kind of, got you in good with with the people here and that that means a lot oh that is you know when you're first traded um like the first day is emotions and you you just think like oh this team drafted me you know they just threw me away that you know et cetera, et cetera. then after that and the next day um i started thinking rationally and you know logically and everything like that and um, I started looking at it as a great opportunity, you know, New Orleans wanted me, um, you know, I wanted to be a part of the city um, and, you know, I just kind of dove right into it and that's really how, um, you know, I am. I'm very loyal and, you know, obviously I was a Laker for two years and it was an amazing experience and now, um, you know, I'm a New Orleans Pelican and I'm excited about that. Uh, experiences, uh, opportunity, and uh, looking forward to it. Does it help making the transition with, with Lonzo and Brandon along with you? No, oh, most definitely. When you have people that you've been with for the last several years, uh, you guys come together, um, you know, we know each other on and off the court, and when you have brothers that um, are going with you, it makes everything so much easier. So we can rely on each other, um, you know, whether that's on the court, um, rely on each other off the court. If we, you know, we're going through stuff, you know, we already have people that we already have relationships with. So it's, it makes the transition, um, you know, seamless. Understand you launched a podcast uh, a couple months ago. Why don't you explain to the fans what that's all about and what, what you dive into? Yeah, it's a lighthearted podcast. And we didn't want it just to be like an athlete, interview an athlete podcast, because obviously JJ, who's, you know, a, a Pelican now, he has a podcast. He's been calling out the podcast. Danny, Danny Green has a podcast. So we wanted it to be more of like a cultural experience, whether that's athletes, um, entertainers, businessmen, businesswomen, um, you know, anything along those lines. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to have, you know, have people on that inspire us to have amazing stories that we feel that um, our listeners and our viewers can, you know, be inspired by and relate to. And I think that was the biggest thing for us is kind of, you know, showing them a different side of the guests and a different side of, uh, you know, ourselves. And when I say ourselves, see my, me and, you know, my co-host, my brother, Matt Hillman. Finally, were you able to see the video of draft night on Fulton Street and the reaction when, when Zion was drafted and, and just did you get a sense of what the community is feeling at this particular time because it's, it's really been an exciting few weeks. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you saw, you saw that video on Twitter, on Instagram, and you know, it's amazing because obviously we have a great talent in Zion coming in. Um, Lonzo, BI, you know, um, also just a tremendous talent. Um, you know, we got great vets, Drew, who's been here, JJ, and Derek, who's, you know, signed here, who obviously believe in this organization, believe in the direction that we're headed. So when you have all those things, and then you got, you know, Nikhil and um, Jackson, and, you know, we can just go down the list. And, you know, there's so much talent, so much excitement around this team and this organization right now. And um, it's amazing just to see the fans' uh, reaction and the fans' love and support for the, you know, this organization.